my first question is, is just how have you been able to sustain, like, having a winning program like that over these years? What's been the key to that? Culture. It's, uh, you know, it's getting players to buy into our program and, you know, all the things that uh, requires you to be great and have great standards. And I think it's probably uh, we, we recruit players with great parents that really have an understanding of how this thing works. And they, you know, they, they trust the process. And I've been very lucky. Go ahead. Month over month, what did you see growth-wise from this oldest team? From you guys beat them pretty bad last time, and it was pretty close most of the way through this month. Uh, growth. I mean, it's it's buy-in, it's discipline, it's um, creating a standard, a high standard that, and you don't you don't back down from it, no matter you know what's thrown your way. And I think uh, Yo's done a great job at just creating a, a great standard and culture to where. Um, players are buying in and they're seeing the results fairly uh, quickly. Any other questions for the room? All right, we'll go to the Zoom. If you have any questions, use raise your hand function and I'll call on you from there. Any questions from the Zoom? Michelle, go ahead. Playing overall, and, and, and just your thoughts on that. Um, I mean, I, I I think we're 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 hitting our stride. I, I thought that uh, you know, especially the core group of our players, they really understand how to play at this level and play in this environment. Um, I thought uh, some of the players that we brought in um, off the bench um, probably didn't handle the situation quite as as nicely as they've handled other situations. Um, you know, but it, it's all a learning experience and um, our, you know, our, our core group of players set the example of how things need to get done. So you know, hopefully everybody's continuing to learn um, because we're going to need them um, in the next phase of, uh, of, of our season, which is postseason. Joe and then David. Seems like she was at a different level these last couple of months. Is this an emergency, you think, with where she's at in her career, being a senior leader on this team and knowing what she wants to get before she leaves? Yeah, I think it's a combination of her. I mean, she wants to win, and she wants to do her part. She also wants to do well. Um, she also has a really good understanding of every time that she takes the floor, it is a, um, it's an interview you know, for the next level. And I, you know, she's, she's done well. Like I know that uh, if I'm a, a WNBA um, GM or coach, I'm drooling by some of the stuff that she's doing out there on the floor. And her, her, her development is, uh, is shaping up pretty nicely as she ends her career with us. David and then Corey. Hey, Dawn, uh, I saw that, you know, obviously before the game about Camilla's injury and what I saw, I couldn't see her on the bench. Uh, is this something that could keep her out long term? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I think we just ear more on precaution than anything. Uh, uh, we know what we're about to face in the next um, week or so in the SEC tournament. I don't really see it keeping her out. So we'll, we'll continue to reevaluate and see where she is, but, you know, knowing Camilla, she's going to want to play. Corey and then Mike. Hey, Dawn, I wanted to get your thoughts on um, just, just some of the missed layups today. Uh, just what did you see kind of in the moment on those? And, um, you know, how do you, just, how do you guys just keep this from being something that, um, you know, just continues to rear its head as you guys enter the postseason play? Well, I mean, I mean, before today, I thought we we did a pretty good job with with making layups, and um, you know, we were defended, we were defended pretty good, and um, I thought at times we were moving a little bit faster than we needed to move. Um, I think most importantly, we got a road win um, in this tough league against a, a really good Ole Miss team. So, um, I mean, we shot it when we shoot it, forty three percent. 
Yeah, the third quarter was bad. Third quarter was bad, but, I mean, we did enough to, to win the basketball game. Mike, and then the AP writer. Hey, John, you look at someone like Bria Beal, who scores a season high 11 points today, and, and I think some people, it's easy to look at the stat sheets and, and get caught up with stuff, but obviously her role was a little bit different than some of the other players on the team. How does a player like Bria, not just, you know, what she does and what she brings to your team, but how does that kind of sum up what this team's all about with some of these players sacrificing maybe some extra shots, extra touches, extra points, knowing that the big goal in hand is to be able to win a game? Yeah, super proud of Bree. Uh, she she's one that has always played a, a, a unsung hero role for us. Um, but tonight, I thought she just played extremely well. She took what the defense gave her. She was aggressive on the boards. She was aggressive take uh, attacking the basket. She hit you know she hit a couple of threes as well. Um, and that's what she's capable of. I think a lot of times we do uh, forget about her and Vic Victoria because of, you know, Aaliyah and what she does and Henny and what she does and Zaya, you know, those two players are glues to our basketball team. They are ones that allow the stars to be the stars and they shine bright themselves. AP and then Dorothy. Yeah, my coach, John Zeno with Associated Press. Could you kind of talk about the way your team obviously kind of took over the fourth quarter and how big that was knowing you you know, couldn't have a lot of competitive games coming up. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, the 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 game calls for um, you know our players to rise to to the occasion. Um, if we don't if, if we don't hunker down defensively, um, create some turnovers and, and and turn them into some easy transition buckets, um, Ole Miss could have made it a long afternoon for us. So I thought we had our players who have been together for a very long time. Um, use use some of our experience of, of being together um, in that fourth quarter. But it was, uh, I mean, it was to be expected from them because they've been here before. They really understand how to play on the road in a hostile environment, and, and they delivered. Dorothy, and then we'll close it out with David. Dorothy, you're on mute. So sorry. Hi, folks. Thanks for your time. Uh, I want to talk with you about this year's team. Tell me what made this year's team so special and how has it been coaching this year's team? And talk about the conversations you've had, the mission that you're on, and then my last question, Aaliyah as the leader of this team. What have you seen? Um, well, I, you know, coaching this team is, is um, I, I don't, I think it's very similar to the, you know, the job that we do coaching every team. I think our job is to make sure that um, our players are prepared uh, to make sure our players are approaching each game um, as, as, a, as a one game tournament. Um, and they've been really good at doing that. This team has been together for a long time. Like the core group of our players have been together. Um, this is their third year. So, you know, some of it is routine um, versus you know, some of the younger players in which had, they, they don't know the routine. So we have to make sure that we're communicating with them and getting them ready for the rigors of playing in this league and playing in the postseason. Um, I mean, it's cool. I mean, we got, we got really good players that really have an understanding of what they need to do, uh, what their responsibilities are, and they do them. And they don't settle for anything besides their responsibility. Um, and then Aaliyah, I mean, Aaliyah is, I mean, I mean, I mean she's performed as the, the best college player um, this particular year. Um, double doubles after double doubles, being double teamed and triple team and being the, you know, being a target of, of our team night in and night out and to be able to perform as she does at an efficient, efficient clip. I mean, it's, she's, she's a generational player. And I don't think we talk. I don't think we talk about her enough in those terms, um, but she is. Um, if you look at where she started to where she is now, um, you know I think any team in the country want her want her on their team. Any final questions for Coach? Thank you all. Thanks, Coach.